we have really kept quiet about <coughs> responding to those allegations, especially from people that you know very well, people like, uh, you know, Muhuri and so on, who are making allegations against government. You know, the government must fight crime. And any criminal who confronts the police with firearms is actually fighting a war. And police will not watch to see this person harming them or harming others. You know, the police are allowed to use firearms um, in such instances where their lives are threatened or where the lives of people that they are protecting are threatened by somebody who is uh, armed. And so to accuse government of malpractice when we know that uh, that group that um, the police uh, dealt with is um, a group that has been killing people here in Mombasa. Uh, why doesn't Muhuri see the death of that girl, innocent uh, little girl who was taking money to the bank in the morning? These are the same people who shot the lady and took away her money, you know, without caring whether she was, uh, you know, um, Kenyan or innocent or not. They didn't care. They just killed. So I think uh, there has to be some sense of proportion when human uh, rights uh, crusaders or defenders talk about government action. And so we know that there has been a lot going on around here, but we don't talk about it. We want to live and let live. But I think when uh, we go overboard by saying that there is even a white man, you know, who government has, uh, you know, has uh, hired to eliminate Kenyans and so on. I think that's wrong. We also know that some of those people who uh, pretended to be crying there are actually not relatives of those people. These are people who uh, come to cry for money. I think, let's be serious, when crime happens, and police are slow to act, or they come when the event has happened, the incident has happened, and they are unable to get the culprit, we heap all the blame on them. But when the police are decisive in fighting the enemies of the Republic, people who hate society and who want to harm it, then we call them all sorts of names. Uh, why can't we have a sense of, uh, you know, of, of, of love for our police? Now the police have an information according to them about these five gangsters, prior information. Now the question we ask, if they have that information, why not apprehending them? So the law can take its course, rather, rather than shooting them. Because shooting them, you are also buried the evidence that these people might have. Now, if these people were armed, we would like to know how did they get these arms. Now, every time police shoot, they claim that they were shot at. But there is no even single evidence that there was any bullet from inside towards the police, not even one bullet. We went into the room and all the bullets were coming from, from, from one direction. These people were not armed at all. So police were lying. And every time when there's a shooting, you never hear a police officer get injured or shot at, never. Nipenda kusema ya kwamba mashirika ya kutetea haki za kibinadamu, Muhuri, Haki Afrika na Pwani Community Human Rights Centers. We will not take this thing lightly. We want the Inspector General Mutiambai, we want the CI Kinoti, we want IPOA to put to start an investigation or inquiry on this matter. So we are putting a question on uh, and to how these killings have been uh, undertaken because tuna believe wengine walichukuliwa wakapelekwa katika pale mahali ambao walipatikana wameuliwa hawakuuliwa walipochukuliwa pale pale walipopatikana wengine walichukuliwa nyumbani na 
kufanyiwa investigation zao na ndo wakaweza kuuliwa katika sehemu kama ile walioliwa watu watano ndani ya nyumba na familia imeconfirm tarehe 17 watu wawili wao mmoja mmoja walikuwa wamepotea au watu we can confirm again walipelekwa pale kwa ile nyumba na polisi na script imetengenezwa na tuko na information some media guys pia walienda pale kwa ground siku ya operation kumaanisha kuwa walikuwa kienda kuhakikisha kuwa watamaliza watu na script yao ifaulu this is wrong we would entertain na tumefaulu kupata cartridge moja ya ambayo imetumika na tutaangalia na timu yetu ya legal pamoja na hizi familia tutaangalia way forward tulikuwa na information kutoka kwa members of the public kwa kwamba kuna gang of uh, armed robbers ambao they have been terrorizing uh, Mombasa county that is Likoni and they close up to Tanzania and they are now hiding in our in our sub county uh, uh, Nyali ikiwa kuweza kuwapika watano wote and they were fatally injured na tunashukuru uh, members of the public kwa hiyo ushirikiano wao tunao ambao umetuwezesha ku kunasa hawa walifu ambao wamekuwa wanaangaisha sana wameangaisha sana Mombasa County e, kila kila kijao utasikia wamenyang'anya wamepika moto risasi sasa bunduki ya AK47 wamepatikana nayo na marisasi kadhaa Thank you. 